What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about when we will see Far Cry 6 gameplay. So I know I've been asked about this a little bit. I know people uh, in my community have kind of talked about this, uh, kind of uh, coming down from Ubisoft uh, forward that we got you know, a few days ago. So Far Cry obviously was not there. Look, I never expected it to be there. That's something I should probably say uh, up front. I was not, you know, I made a predictions video, and while I got most of them wrong, uh, I did not predict Far Cry because I didn't think Far Cry was, so is it actually an inadvertent prediction that I did get right, right, by not predicting it. So I think generally, and this is important to note with Ubisoft, they're going in order. They really are going in order. What we've seen so far is, now, what's happened with Assassin's Creed is very odd, very di I mean, it's probably not uh, the, the thing that they wanted to happen, okay, with all the stuff that's happened with Valhalla over the last several, mainly the people that work for them, right? So, I mean, that's different, but Watch Dogs, obviously, is very important. Rainbow Six, very important. We got Prince of Persia. We got that announcement, uh, which is obviously in January. I still think it was planned to be, you know, in the fall and it was pushed, but that one is, you know, after all of these fall games, that one is next. We have Immortals, Phoenix Rising. Looks fantastic. That comes out in December. So what you're seeing is the Far Cry announcement back in July, that was, I think, very much to just say, okay, like, you guys know it's real, we're working on it, it's our first truly next-gen game, I mean, you look at Prince of Persia's remake, comes out in January, and but it's not it's not next-gen, in fact, there's no mention of it even coming to next-gen, I don't think it actually will. Uh, it, now, Immortals will have the free upgrade, but again, in terms of made for next-gen, now, is Far Cry 6 specifically made for next-gen? Not necessarily, but it's the most made for next-gen of all the Ubisoft games that we know so far. I think there's a Splinter Cell game, the Skull and Bones is obviously only next-gen, all of these different things, but the, the basic idea I'm trying to, you know, drive through to you you guys is they're going in order so Far Cry 6 not being at this Ubisoft forward I wouldn't I wouldn't be worried about it yes the game only releases you know it comes out in less than six months at this point but I don't think there's any cause for concern what I think is going to happen is that and this is my prediction okay I think that Ubisoft will and they've even said it right this is not it I you know Ubisoft forwards have not been the greatest but I'm happy that we're seeing these developers do this like if they want to have more Ubisoft stuff if if, if EA wants to keep going if we want to do these things these Sony Microsoft stuff I think it's good I think it's fun it's different I prefer it over e3 honestly even though the quality may not be consistently high at least it's you know we get it semi often and we get it uh, you know and and they're not really taking the spotlight from each other I get it that's you know I'm rambling I'm sorry uh, I think Ubisoft will do another one which they've already I mean that's not even a thought they they've said they're gonna do more I think they'll do one probably in November I would honestly say November is the best time and I'll tell you why you already would have Watch Dogs out, Rainbow Six, and I think probably you would do late November so that Assassin's Creed, Rainbow Six, they're all out of the way. Everything's gone except for Immortals, which would be, say it's like the second, say it's right before Thanksgiving, then you have like two weeks and then Immortals comes out, okay? And then also, you know, uh, Prince of Persia becomes a main focus again. I think that makes the most sense. You get rid of a couple, not and again, not in like a malicious way, but you release several of your games, the ones that are the, the closest to releasing, they're gone within the next couple of months, and then you do another Ubisoft forward, and you say, all right, the things we have next are, again, Immortals, we have Prince of Persia, and then the next one after that is Far Cry. There is 0% chance that they don't show Far Cry, I think, at the next one. I think Far Cry 6 would absolutely be there, and I think we get gameplay. Another thing to remember, too, and I do think, again, it lines up really, really well with this, is I do think they're waiting on Next Gen. Now, that statement is a little weird because, I mean, Next Gen is announced. We know about Next Gen. like We know these consoles, but I just feel like, again, Watch Dogs, it's coming out on current gen. Assassin's Creed is coming out on both, and Watch Dogs will make it on, on next gen as well. But what I'm saying is I think they're literally waiting for these consoles to come out, or at least more gameplay, because if you think about it, the gameplay that we've gotten, a lot of gameplay for next gen games have primarily come from the conferences of the two companies. Yes, there's been some you know, outside of it, but most of it, 80-90%, has been the PS5 reveal or something PlayStation does, and then the Xbox game showcase or, or inside Xbox. You know they have two different uh, you know show names, but you know most of them are there. Now again, there's there's other ones that are not there, but most of them are there. Ubisoft may very well just say, okay, well we're gonna wait or we are waiting. Maybe there's a maybe uh, kind of like a a gentleman's agreement right between all of these companies that okay you don't show too much of next gen stuff until we we get the ball rolling and and we and we get to say when the ball gets 
gets rolling, right? I think, honestly, that's kind of how it's working. And so it, it kind of, again, it's the best of both worlds. You do a Ubisoft forward at the end of November. And, I, and you know what? They did it in July, early July. It's been two months. And so they're doing it, I think, bi-monthly. And so two months from now, obviously, is November. You do it right after, again, Next Gen comes out. And you do it right after Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, Rainbow Six have all made their way on Next Gen. And you say, okay, we can celebrate the launch of these games. Maybe you can, they could talk about you know post you know post launch content for them, which I think they would. And then they can say, all right, well, let's talk about the next couple games. Let's start showing you next gen games. Now again, not all of them are even going to be next gen, but Far Cry 6 would obviously be the major one. So honestly, I don't think we have too much time to wait. I get that if they do it in November, I mean they're showing us gameplay like literally three months before the game comes out. It's a bit weird, but in all honesty, this year has been weird. Nothing has been sane about this year. You look at like Spider-Man Miles Morales, very big game. We don't, we don't have gameplay for it. It's probably coming out in less than two months. We'll probably see gameplay when it's about a month and a half away. That almost never happens. Normally, we've seen gameplay by now for a game that's launching that close and also for a game that's that big. Now, it's it's kind of it is a shorter game. I wouldn't say it's DLC. It's more of like a Spider-Man 1.5, but it is a, a sizable game that we don't have gameplay for. That's very very weird, right? So just in general, this year has been weird. It's not you know it's not necessarily a negative thing if you say okay, well the gameplay we don't get the gameplay until just a very little time before the game actually releases. Normally that probably wouldn't be the greatest thing uh, in all, but for now I think it's fine. I honestly think it's fine. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you excited? for Far Cry 6. When do you think we're going to see the gameplay for it? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.